Hey guys, it's Brenda from my wee Rubens Kittle. I've been talking to you from my living room like this for a long time. And guess what? I'm switching my location to my new nursery. I am so excited. Please come with me and share the journey, guys. Disclaimer, I own a lot of stuff. I... <laughs> I see all these beautiful nurseries, minimalist nurseries on YouTube and in pictures, and I am not a minimalist. I am a full-on cluttered. <laughs> I love my, I, I actually love my clutter. So, yeah. If that's a problem with, then just. Don't watch my cluttered mess. And well, it's not going to be a mess. It's going to be a cluttered, comfy space. And I'll be making my videos in there. I'm so excited. But look what I have so far. It's I started to, well, Francis helped me a lot. Started to bring, oh, you can see my cereal box. <laughs> um, started to bring in a lot of the... Wait, I keep looking at myself. <laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at myself. The coloring is just weird. It's probably because of the weird hue of the sun. But, um... Yeah, Francis started bringing up stuff. Um, like bins and uh, more dolls that I own. That are not upstairs in the bedroom of the living room. Like, Elodie is there. And Xena is right there i have some babies in there they will stay in those spots because that's their home and that's where i decided that i love them however now that i have a new space i can bring up more of my collection upstairs and that way like i'm so excited because now when it's theme thursday i can finally like you know not have to dig around downstairs and look for things I can do it up here but I have a huge I'll just show you I'll just show you okay yeah I'll just show you so yeah this is Eric's room um our bedroom <laughs> and all, all my stuff <laughs> and this is my new it seems really bright. Okay, sorry for... Oh, my hand is so shaky. I did bring my tripod. So, I have a lot of stuff. I have lots of bins. Um, But, you know, okay... When I first started collecting, I have videos of having organization for these. Um, I had different drawers and stuff. That one seems like a, like there's on the outside. But I have a lot of these bins. Okay. Yeah, I feel safer talking. See, I don't know if that's an animal, but anyways, I I could bring up my baby life collection. I have a lot more baby lives are just in one of these bins. I think one of like this, but look at all the stuff I have to go through. And I found I have more. I have a few of these cloth type bins that I'll probably put up there too. So shaky. I have my Moses cradle up here, which I love. I have another Moses basket downstairs. Um, in the previous video, I said that I would, like, in the future, have money for an area rug. But for now, I have these foam mats 
So I would love to like hide this ugly carpet with those. <laughs> our our whole house has ugly carpet. So there. I'm so sorry about the shaking. Um carrying all these things. I guess my muscles are weak. So I'm here today. I have okay, I have all these bins. Okay, and I have more. I bought them up. They're like but I have like various boxes, like with various things. I have a ton of bottles. I want to like put my bottle collection somewhere. I have a whole bunch of like Playtex collection, my vintage Playtex. So I thought, what could I do to maximize my cluttered space? So on this dresser, I could probably put like so a, a thing of bins on top and then those on top of the bins because yeah I have a lot of bins guys I I have lots this might well it does look like a lot it doesn't might not look like a lot it does look like a lot um okay I'm all over the place okay Let's see if I can try and explain myself without being all mumbled. I think it's because um, this room is like brand new and I have so much stuff that's kind of overwhelming. Um, and I'm also a little worried because I know that a lot of people out there, women, <laughs> people out there are into the beautiful... Uh, romantic look and simple and which is beautiful I love that look too but realistically I am not that person I am I use what I can like for instance you've seen those laundry baskets yeah that's what I use for reborn beds I have other baskets I have like um, these kind of baskets I have like three of them at least three um I have like this kind of basket this kind I have and a whole bunch of I'm sorry a whole bunch of bins like what you've seen and I have these drawer things too like these drawer bins <sighs> But I also have a whole bunch of these type of bins that you've seen stacked up. Now the thing is, I was going to tell you, <laughs> in the beginning of my collection, I did have everything organized. I had girls, I had boys, sized by color. Um, I had drawers for them. And then my collection grew. Guys, my collection is giant. Like, you have no idea. Some of you might. My collection is huge. And I love my collection. However, I am thinking... I have a couple of dolls that I could probably, like... I'm thinking of doing a giveaway. Which I'll announce in a future video. I think I'm going to do that. The only thing I can't do is pay for shipping. So, whoever wins the doll will have to um do their own shipping and any custom fees that may come about but i do have a dollar mind it's a oh what sculpt is it it's a real born um i want to say owen awake but it's not owen although i do have no one awake and oh what's that? oh asher the asher awake i have the asher awake a blonde, blue-eyed, beautiful doll. But, um, like, I like some of the blondes, but obviously I like a lot of the brunettes. But I don't know, I just, I love him, but not, I have him as a boy. But, um, I haven't, I have so many dolls that I haven't really spent any time with him. So I thought, well, I should just do a giveaway. So that will be upcoming. I will do details. It sounds like there's an echo in here. I need more things up on the walls. Um, 
But anyway, so I was thinking I need to use, maximize this space with all these bins that I have. I have tons of bins. <sighs> so if I do a giveaway with a baby, I could do a nice box opening too with him or her choosing. I have like brand new products too, guys, like from the dollar store. The thing is too, I've received so many box openings myself over the years and some of the duplicates that I've received within those box openings, I kept as brand, like brand new, even though, <laughs> even though they're years old. But I mean, I didn't open the packaging or anything. So I could easily do a giveaway for a girl or a boy, depending on the winner's choosing. But in the meantime, I have to think about details of that because obviously I want someone to win who watches my videos. So mm, there's that. Um, yeah, I did say I do want to try reboarding, which I do. I already have the supplies for all of that. I have it. Like, I don't have to buy anything. I have the kits, I have the paints, I have the halogen oven, I have the paintbrushes, sponges, little t tweezers, scissors. Uh, I, of course, I already have the re-rating materials. So I have everything I need to reborn, but the thing is, I, I want to concentrate on maximizing this room as what I can. So, yeah. And I was thinking, you know what, with all my clutter, I'm not going to have a beautiful nursery, like, fancy, beautiful, <laughs> I wish I could, but I'm not going to have that. I'm just going to have to uh, be, like, I am okay with a cluttered, organized nursery so prepare for that my I'm just you know what my dad used to call us rednecks and he said be proud of your redneck heritage he's back right too <laughs> um when your family lived through a depression um it just comes you use what you can so that's what I do and the communities where I've taught are also very poor, poor communities. And you just use what you have to the best of your ability. And that's what I do. So I think I'm kind of afraid of the criticism. But like even, like even this stuff. I love Mario. I love Zelda. Why would I take that down and put up like <laughs> you know I love it myself oh and guess what guys I realized like like even my Moses basket like this room is blue well obviously you can see that but the my accessories like this gorgeous blanket I thought like I could put this up on the wall even if I have room or if I don't put it on the wall, like, I think I will, actually, no, I'm not going to put it on the wall. <laughs> I am, I am planning on putting it, like, on the playpen, on the edge of the playpen to give it a nice look. But my Moses basket is, like, matches perfectly. I'll show you. So here is, is cluttered right now. It's not going to stay like this. I just placed my... Anastasia in there. I named her Julia Rain. Um, but look at this material. It, the blue dragonflies. These are dragonflies everywhere. There's green and blue and it's a nature. This is from my juxer. Look, it matches perfectly. I just couldn't be more pleased. Um, this is on the neck of my juxer. He's my alternative. Uh, baby boy who I haven't shown a lot of my alternative collection but so I'm so excited you guys like I have I have a chair it's just a lawn chair but it's a brand new um it's never been outside 
we bought it for a replacement computer chair but and then i just bought a real computer chair so that was what we used i just draped a blanket over it it's just basically a lawn chair i have all of these tubs now i have a label maker and all of these tubs right now are kind of there's only a few tubs i have that are actually useful i have a bonnets a uh, bin, a winter hat bin, a booties bin, but I'm going to have to go through all this and like I'll have bibs, uh, knitted hats, bonnets, um, booties, and I have like there's shoes in that bin, there's more shoes. Oh, I have lots. Um, I have more of my baby life collection. So I kind of want to see if I could put them all up there somehow. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, and by the way, my son's things, I do have a laminator. So I could definitely laminate those things and then give him, give those. I That's for my toddlers. Yay. That, that was my real son's when Eric and Brendan was little that's what I had <laughs> um yeah and then there's all these bins and more babies so yeah hmm there's Joxer right there he's he's half human half clown so I just call him Joxer and yeah so my awake babies I plan on keeping them um in here I want to try and dress it up nicer. I don't know. I'm just going to do the best I can. I can't spend any money on this at all. So I'll be draping blankets over things. I thought like with these I could make a tower of bins and then drape it with a um, big blanket. Stuff like that. That's what I'll have to do. I could bring it. I brought up my. I have a baby nursery lamp there I can plug in so I'm so excited I'm so excited but first I need to set up this playpen and I'll move you back so this playpen I want to set up in here I think I don't know because look at these bins I have and I don't think yeah I have a lot of work to do so yeah this is part one I will be putting up I'll probably I'm thinking of putting up one row of bins and then putting those baskets on top of the bins so we'll see how that works I don't know, I might, I love that mirror, that, the Zelda mirror, I might move it, I might put it, like, way up, up there or something, so, yay, anyways, I will be back after a bit, probably in the next video, I think I'll just end this video, so you guys, thank you so much for watching. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I love that you're here with me so much. Thank you guys. Um, stay tuned for an updated uh, what I'll do with this room. <laughs> but yeah, I will. It won't be. <laughs> it won't be a minimalist nursery at all. It's going to be cluttered, but organized clutter. <laughs> so. I'm just going to do with, you know, sorry, I keep, my mind is just racing right now. That's why I just want to say that I do enjoy lots of stuff. I do. I like it. I like it organized and clean though. I don't like it messy or unorganized. Um, but I even, even as a kid, I've always had lots of stuff. I just organized it and everything had a home. So I'm going to have to think about how I want to home these bins, baskets, and stuff. And make it look nice and how I'd like it. 
So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, details on an upcoming giveaway on a baby. I will be doing that. Um, I have the time right now, so I'm not working right in the moment. So I do have time. Um, the only thing is, because I'm unemployed right now, is that I can't afford shipping at all. So whoever wins will have to do with shipping. But I will reveal the doll in a future video. And I'll and also think of gatherings like a girl and a boy things. So, yeah. Anyways. Or maybe I'll just do a unisex. Maybe I'll just throw a girl and boy stuff together and that way because you know what in the future sometimes I do change the genders of my dolls right so maybe I will send both girl and boy things and then they can decide once the winner once you receive the doll what you'd like to or even change it up after a while so yeah maybe I'll do it like a unisex baby like girl things and boy things because yeah i have lots of stuff anyway i can surely do a giveaway most adults too i have my collection is really huge um people say i've heard comments of people say yeah my collections used to have like 23 adults and i'm like yeah i got a lot more than that <laughs> i have way more than 23 way more um yeah so so anyways, guys, I don't know what else to say. I just want to get on. I'm trying to think of how I want this room. Sorry if I was kind of like jumbled all over the place. But yeah, I'm wearing my shirt today. My wee rainbows cradle. I have a merch. I have merch in my merch store. So it says, my wee rainbows cradle. So <laughs> yeah, merch, merch, merch. Merch, merch, merch. Actually, a few people have bought some of my merch, so thank you so much for that. Anyways, guys, I gotta go. I'm just rambling and drumming, and this is part one. Can't wait to show you my organization, what I'm thinking of doing. I gotta bring out the label maker and think about, I gotta think about like bibs, uh, hats, and booties, knitted. Um, diapers. Oh, I gotta think of where I'm gonna put all the diapers too. It's <laughs> a lot. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope that you're having a great day. And until next time, very soon. Bye for now, guys. Love you. Much hand, guys. Much hand. Love you, guys. Bye.